Hey guys, welcome. This video is called, Why Haven't They Contacted You? So if you're looking for some answers or some clarity, look no further. Why not subscribe while you're here so you can see more videos like this on a weekly basis. I do lots of different videos. Twin flame, soulmates, all love connections. I tend to channel in more for healing and helping to move past things. So why didn't they call? current situation, feelings of both people, challenges around this, and advice, an action to take possibly. Let's get into it. Why haven't they contacted you? What is going on with them that they haven't contacted you? Person has been this video that needs to hear messages. Why haven't they contacted this person? Why haven't they contacted you? So I feel like they're kind of in a place where they need really rest, rejuvenating of their spirit, their soul, their mind, their body. They're trying to like replenish themselves. I feel like they have really suffered or been through something major that they really need this rest and this time to themselves. Some things they may have not shared with you, some personal challenges or some personal um, maybe even health things or mental health things that they didn't share with you. They um, really are just trying to focus on themselves right now. They're trying to give themselves peace. They're trying to give themselves time. They're definitely thinking of you. Um, but they're kind of like in this energy, I feel like, where they might not want strings attached to anything right now. So they may be afraid to tell you this, or they may not know how to tell you this, or they may have felt like they had what they had with you, and they just don't want strings attached right now at this time in their life. Because they have strings attached to other things like they're working on. Like, in other words, they have other ways they need to go before they can go back to love and commit to anything. And, you know, they may be holding on to something from the past. They may not be over somebody from their past. Or they may not just be ready to give to love. They're, um, they're definitely contemplating all of this though okay but they're just taking their time about it um they don't feel like they need to say or do anything right now with you because they don't even know what they're doing with their self um they're also afraid of judgment they're also afraid you're going to judge them they all they're also afraid you're not going to like what they have to say in some way um and i feel like they want to stay connected to you but they're afraid that if they tell you this it's going to be over that's really what they're fearful of. But right now, they really don't have the energy to put into anything to build right now. They kind of want it casual is what I'm getting. Let's see what else we get. Why haven't they called? Let's see what else we get for why haven't they called. So, I mean, I, I feel like they really want to. There is a lot of things they want to say to you. But I feel like they want to make sure they're going to say the right things. And I also feel like they might be almost waiting for you to reach out. I almost feel like they're a little passive aggressive. They're almost a little bit afraid to, you know, go into this with you. They're like afraid to open that door. They're afraid to open that up, like of what you'll say, what you'll do. They're also afraid that you'll take your um yourself away like you'll take yourself out of this you'll 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 lose interest and you'll possibly go elsewhere and give yourself to someone else so they are thinking of all these things yeah they definitely uh they definitely uh have a little bit of a, 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 ish, a issue i feel like with communication and i feel like they are playing a little bit of a game here um they are thinking of you but they're they're more worried about themselves unfortunately they're in an energy of self-interest where they're like, well, these are my problems. This is what I need to do what's right for me. But they're not communicating that to you. See? So they have some darker thoughts about themselves and love and, and, and things. And that has nothing to do with you. They just don't know how to move on this. They're not making movement on it. But they know they need to. And I feel like they don't want to be pressured for anything. Yeah, this person has depression and issues. Okay, so I just want to like make it clear if they're not contacting you, it might be for a reason. It might be better for you if they don't with the state they're in. If you're just here wondering what happened, like why maybe they ghosted you, they have depression. They're suffering depression. They have um, self, 
like inflicted kind of wounds here. Like they tell themselves they're not good enough. They they tell themselves they're not like worthy enough for some reason. Let's see what else we get. Challenges and, and feelings around this with this person. Let's check my mirror of shadows here. Because yeah, what I'm seeing is they're afraid to move forward. They're afraid to make decisions. They're afraid of outcomes. They're afraid of the future. And they're stuck in the past. So I want instant gratification a lot in life. So I don't know if something with them that they wanted something quickly or, or right off the bat. Maybe they wanted, you know, sex and you didn't want to do that. There, there's something with this that they want. They don't want to like wait. They don't want to. I just feel like they feel very entitled in life. Like they think that they're owed things or that they're dude things. And then when they don't get them, they act kind of childish. Let's see what else we get. All right. Feelings, issues, and challenges with this person. What else is going on with this person? So my feelings were never validated. So they've got some wounds from the past. You know, they may have maybe made bleh, they may have been made to feel like their opinions didn't matter or their voice didn't matter. So they've been shut up a lot in life. And now when it comes to love, they don't know how to express themselves. Yeah, they're dishonest. Lying was a learned behavior for me. So they might have lied to you about things they said they were gonna do. They might have made you promises they didn't deliver. They might have said they felt some way about you and Maybe they didn't know that they felt that way or they weren't sure and they just said it anyway. You see what I'm saying? Like, I feel like they just kind of manipulated you and they told you what you wanted to hear instead of truthful things, truthful things about the way they really are and about the way they really feel and about the way they really fall in love. They're not capable, I feel like, to give anything to a relationship because they have so much damage and shit from their past they've not worked through. Yeah, look at this. Fear of love. I'm not sure what love really is. So they don't really know. I mean, I feel like you might be wasting your time with this person a little bit. But if this is something that, you know, you're holding on, you can't let go. You have to know that this person has issues, depression issues, anxiety issues, um, abandonment issues, fear of being alone. Like all these things manifest, though, in ways where like someone will dish you or dump you or run away from you or make you chase them or play games with you. Because they're trying to see where your loyalties are and they're trying to see how far you'll go. And it's like kind of a game to them a little bit. It gives them some type of validation um, when things are kind of shitty and in the dumps and they might like drama a little bit and they might thrive on this in some ways, um, unfortunately. Let's see if there's anything else we need to know here. Let's see. What else do we need to know? Um, challenges advice well action possibly yeah look they've got trust issues it could be that you have some trust issues too and this person and this connection is opening those up so it might be something for you to work on to heal but they have trust issues they may have lied to you you may already know this you may know that this person is untrustworthy they might think this of you even though you're not. They might have this in their head because of people that have hurt them from the past. There's some toxic things from the past from them. It's almost like they're tainted or stained or, or almost like ruined by these old feelings. So it's time to disconnect from the world. So yeah, they need this time introspectively to go and, and just do whatever they're doing. But I feel like you too. I mean, this is kind of like, I feel like, Retreat. It's time to disconnect from this world. Maybe this world with this person. But I feel like you're in this separation or you're away from each other for a reason. They really haven't done much work here. Okay. Um, but I feel like it's it's meant for you to be away from this person at this time. We've got this could be the one. So you've already met a romantic partner. You met the person that you seek. So now this could apply to them and they need time to go deal with their problems and deal with their things and maybe you need to leave them alone and retreat and, and work on your stuff too. But it could be somebody else that's around right now in between this person that might be better suited for you or someone that comes in that's better suited for you. All right, so let's get some clarity on this. Let's get some clarity. Is this the one for this person? 
Nope, free yourself. It's time to take control back of your life. So you see, it means that someone else you've already met or someone else that's in the wing somewhere or someone that's coming in is going to be the person that you seek that's going to be meant for you, better for you, that's going to give you what you want, love you the way you want to be loved and all of those things that you deserve. Okay, so that's the action to take here. When someone new comes in, give them a chance and know that it could be the one that you've asked for. The, the things that you're trying to make this person fit into a box about, this person that's not calling you, that's ignoring you, that's depressed, sad, has all these issues, you might be trying to fit them into a box they're not going to fit into. And the new person that comes along is going to fit without you trying to force it. And let's see what else happens when this new person comes in. Yeah, we've got passion. We've got passion. We've got make the effort. And we've got worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work. Just know that you might have been dealing with this person. This had to get out of your system or you had to learn something from this. Or yes, it was annoying or it was hurt you in some way or it made you feel some type of way. But... It was to teach you a lesson because you have a real, real soulmate coming in with passion, somebody that's going to like make you feel really good and all the things you asked for and all the things you want this person to be, this jerk that's not calling you back or contacting you, the new person is going to be those things that you want. Does that make sense? Or it might already be that you found somebody like this and you're unsure. Yeah, an attraction. See that? You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So just know another person may be coming in once you let go of this other BS situation with this person. And um, you have an opportunity to have a new love experience, I feel. All right, let's see any cards for advice going forward for you. Okay. So we've got Archangel Gabriel. Now, what I feel like this for you is about the way you communicate. So the next person that comes in or just know if you're dating or you're looking or you're, you know, wanting to express yourself with people. I feel like you got to express yourself with people like um, don't hide who you are. Say what you really want. Say what you want out of a relationship. Say what you desire. Say what you need. Sort of like affirm it. <clears throat> and... Um, I don't know. Don't change that for anybody is what I'm getting. Okay. Don't change that for anybody. This is part of your journey. This person on this path, part of your path is part of your journey. And um, you're meant to make new caring connections. So I, <laughs> I really hope that these messages were helpful because I feel like this is definitely you were either obsessing or worried about something that wasn't meant for you and you have new wholesome love coming in. It's all over these cards. <laughs> I hope that this was helpful, guys. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Love and light to you all. Don't forget to check my description box for my private reading information. Thank you so much for watching.